What's up, YouTube? Uh, <coughs> it's Country Boy Dipper 22 here with uh, another video. I'm deciding to do something different. Not the kind of dip, but the kind of video. You see, I've never done any of them how to kind, you know, maybe a few dip, you know, lid can tricks, stuff like that. I'm going to do all that for the next few videos with, with, with Copenhagen Natural. You know, um, I, I think since it's extra long cut, half of y'all should go ahead and do it. Because some of y'all need some serious help. But not only that, but it's natural. It's, it's going to get you out of that fucking... The, the flavored shit, yeah, not going down. So let's get let's get to how to dip. We okay. So look, you get your can, obviously, you know, your can of dip snuff, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you normally your can will be uncracked, you know, not sealed, or will be sealed. But now what you do is when you get a brand new can. You feel the lining of the can, like, uh, like after, you know, you put your nail right there, you can feel where the opening is. So what you do is you stick your nail, whether it's your thumb or your middle finger, and you just run across, just like, just run across, and it cuts it. And then sooner or later, you got it all open to where it looks open like that. So, you're there. You got your can. Got it cracked. Now, the next thing you do is you crack the seal. You hear that? Anyway, crack the seal, okay? So you crack the seal, you got your can. Now the next thing you do is how to pack. How to pack. This is where not very many... You can dip and not know how to pack. My stepdad, he doesn't know how to pack. He... And he's been dipping for years. Over... I say at least 20 years. Easily. It's probably a little more. But. <clears throat> coming in natural. Okay, anyway. Um, there's many ways to pack it. I've seen so many ways it's unreal. There's. You get your three fingers. You know, just across. You know, not, not to where you're like overdoing it. You know, just enough to where you hold it. You know, got a firm peg grip on there. You keep your thumb on this side. That. I mean, or you can. Or if you like it to pack it the other way, if your thumb on this side and your three on this side. And now, now you you see this finger right here. You want to leave it loose. All right, you leave it loose, and uh, practically, you know, just to get used to it. You know, just in case you can't go around in public going like this with a can. Get your fingers and go like this, and just try to get your fingers to snap. Like, like, leave this finger loose. Like, like, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Like, leave your finger loose. Okay, you try to finger, try, it, it's hard at first. I got it quick. Try to leave this finger loose, and it'll, it'll smack against the other. But whenever you have the can, you know, it'll smack the can and pack it to where it's all in one side. Now, um, another thing is, there's another way to pack it. You pretty much put your fingers around it, you know. I mean, I, I, I like to go like this. They say on videos to go go ahead and go like this. It just feels weird. I'm hitting the end of the can. It hurts. So I just, you know, got me a good little, just to where it rounds it a little bit. And to where my finger is hitting towards the end. Just like it was, you know, kind of like this. Stuff like that. So you leave it towards the end. To where it hits it. Kind of like across Copenhagen. And, um, that's another way to pack it. But, personally... To me, the best way to pack it, to get a, the perfect pack, is going like this. Get Got the three and the one, and leaving your finger loose and hitting it. Either way, you have to leave your finger loose like this, too. You know? Um, but, I've also seen my stepdad. He packs like that. He just... That's how easy it is for him. Now, if we're going to me, um, I pack like that. You know, I'm just how I am. I've also seen the redneck pack. Not very, not very many people I know do it. Even the biggest rednecks I know don't do it. I'm talking. Okay, the redneck pack goes elbow, you elbow, fist, like hammer fist, and then forehead. Just do do do, just real fast. Like do do, 
I'm not gonna do it because I don't do it, and it's not gonna work for me. It's just not my thing. Um, but there's videos on here of him or of people actually doing the redneck pack. Uh, if you want to, you can go look at them. Uh, they fucking. <laughs> but um, yeah. Now I'm gonna show you how to properly put in the lip, but I'm not gonna put it in. What I'm gonna do? Okay, you know what? I'll put a small one in. Okay. First one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put in the dip. I'm gonna show you how to put in the dip. You know, for your first time, or whether it's you know a few times in, or you want to get used to dipping without pulling out your lip. You know. But um, I'm gonna go to putting in a little bitty dip to show you how to do it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it all together. I'm gonna show you just bring it all together and show you just how to all together. You know, see so you can see it in fast motion instead of sitting here trying to pay attention to me, you know, how I'm doing it, stuff like that. Now catch your can. Lids lids or you know it's unsealed. Pack. I pack. I don't give a fuck how you pack. Mm, not at all. But, um, I got mm, see, half can. Um, what? Anyway. Yeah. Snuff, see? It may look nasty, it may taste nasty, depends on what you do. Either way, it's gonna look nasty to most people. But, um, whenever you're holding your cans, uh, you open them and then stick it right there. Now we're gonna get to the actually putting in one. I'm gonna get a really, really small one just to show y'all how to do it correctly, and then I'll put in, you know, like a normal size one for me. Alright, I'm, I'm talking about small, like the smallest you've ever seen a normal person put in the lip. I've seen actually people have small dips in that. It's sad, right? Now, I'm going to put this can up here. Just maybe close it after you're done. Get it? Now, most people, or some people anyway, grab their lip for the first time. <clears throat> I didn't. But I mean, you grab your lip, you pull it down, whether it's like this, like this, like this, like this, you know, whether whatever you're doing. Me personally, I don't pull out my lip. Now, if you was to pull out your lip, you'd go and then set it in there. If you weren't going to, you'd, I mean, some people go, some people just, I just, I don't, mm, I don't do none of that shit. It just looks funny. But I do, at the end of every dip I do, I always have to go with the dip. And I don't know why I do. I'll go. Just thing I do. I don't fucking know. But this is how you do it, you know, with the way you're going to do it for your first time. Now, you're most likely going to pull out your lip and put it in. Try not to do that. You will be called a pussy. What? Hold on. I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go. All right, so come on. To get it, you know, and for you people who aren't, you know, so much familiar with it, you get it and you pull out your lip. Mm -hmm. That's whenever you have your little lip in. Time for a normal size lip and all in fast motion. Get your can. You know, you un, un, and crack it. I have 40 seconds. Open it. Hold it like this. What you do? You can get you a normal size lip in. I mean, if you have to, you can shave a little off, stuff like that, you know. See, you know, some of y'all go, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't 
and there's to you on how to dip. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Keep dipping. Keep spitting.